Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this will be a monthly tarot reading for my cancers for the month of November 2018. And if you'd like to have a private reading with me, uh, you can um, book me for a private reading, the information below the video. Before recording this reading, I have meditated and asked Spirit for guidance. And so let's see what Spirit has to say for you, my cancers, for November 2018. We have the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the World, ooh, big things happening, the Lovers, the Hermit, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. I mean, major game changer for my cancers this month i mean things should be going really really well um i feel that some of my cancers have been really more mostly involved with their own family their own partnership very private uh more you know more focused into their own life you know their family at home and that brings you security because ultimately you're realizing now, my cancer is that, the, you know, the people that you have around you, those are the right people that you want to uh, expand your, your life with or your future with. Um, I feel that uh, you also have a lot of partnership around you, business partnership that could be also, that could be coming more intimate or more, you know, or yeah, you could have a business partnership that could become more intimate or your, you know, your business partnership or your colleague at work or, you know, people outside of your house or, you know, really more uh, trying to connect with you on a deep level. With the hermit, it shows that there is a deep connection here. Uh, you may be connected to or connecting to some karmic relationship. It could be even with, you know, it doesn't have to be in a relationship. It could be with a child. It could be at work with a colleague. It could be... Um, at school with uh, a friend or something like that there is you know this uh, ultimate soul connection people are, are being driven to get to know you they are trying to um, uh, to get in touch with you it could be because also the north node is moving i think in november into your sign my uh cancers and with the world is really is you know, this beginning is actually an ending of an old, old life. Your life is changing. And that's what you want. That's what you have been asking for, is to have a strong partnership, strong relationship. It's very strong right here. I mean, the hermit in the middle here, I feel that it's it's showing you that you have been working hard. And it's, you could have still some type of work ahead of you with the Eight of Pentacles next to you for you to really stabilize the situation. Uh, meaning your relationships. I, I feel relationship is a big deal here. I mean, if it's not relationship, it could be things that matters to you, okay, such as your health, your money, your work, your career, your customers, like those people, like people that actually bring you something, people where there's a fair exchange in terms of what you're receiving and what you're getting from others is being eliminated this month. You may also retrieve... Um, or you may start connecting more intimately on your own here with the hermit because there is you. I don't. I, it's unclear because you know my water sign are going through this amazing epiphany in some areas of life. So it's unclear to see if this some, something here that you have been manifesting through prayers. I feel that in your case, it's just it's just your time. It's your time. It's your time now. We're after some type of heart hurdles. Uh, especially for the month of September, October, I, I, I've been speaking to some of my cancers, some of my cancers, you know, it's been some challenging, maybe last summer too, some of you might have had some type of separation, divorce, uh, and some others is going really well, like I said, it's a general reading, but for those that have been going through some type of separation, I think your soulmate is already on its way, or it's definitely someone around, it could be someone that you work with as well. Or it could be a boss or someone who has some type of authority or power 
okay? A very loving and comforting um, connection around you, and it's like with everybody, you know? Uh, and for my cancers, if, if, it's, if it's not there, you're not feeling this, you know, check your, um, you know, your moon sign or check if you have maybe other planets or multiple planets, other sign, because it looks very good. I feel that you still have to work though. And, I, you know, health for some of my cancer could be like something where you're going to have to find a balance, even if it's going really well, but the surge of energy that, that is pulling out of you from others or that you're giving to others, you need, you'll have to regenerate that. Um, so I feel that the Eight of Pentacles, you're going to find a way to, you know, be resourceful by just investing in yourself as well. How you could invest in yourself by, you know, uh, doing things where you could also find a way where you get the healing, you get the care, you get the love, you get all that, you know, because you give so much, you have to make sure also that you're able to get, you need that in order to, for you to, uh, to feel balanced and to feel content and secure, okay? Um, you know, I don't like to say karmic and soulmate thing and blah, because I think sometimes it's just too much, you know? And the reality is, it's true. Once you meet a soulmate and a karmic relationship, it's not supposed to last for a lifetime. You're supposed to move on after that. Um, but here, wh whoever is in your life right now, is there's definitely stability because there's so many pentacles and a hermit who's making sure like that things are are or people are really uh, engaged or engaging with you. You are the star right now. Uh, for your family, uh, for the people that you care about, those are like those are not not strangers. I don't see strangers too much. I think I feel that there's a ton, a, a, a tight bond between you and others. There is other people coming in. Those people that are coming in trying to get to know you, they're still around you. Like I said, they could be at work. They could be uh, your neighbors. They could be at school or a new relationship where they're just this energy the north node in uh your sign is magical so of course you know everybody will come towards you because we we must go to the north node the north node is the karmic uh or is where we have to uh we have unfinished a uh, karmic lesson and uh the south node is where we have been or the experience that we bring from a past life uh, and so there is this new, I don't know, you might have maybe untied yourself from some karmic bond and now you're free because this freedom with the world is, and also there could be a chances of travel and also I feel relocation could be in the car, but I'm talking about maybe like in six months from now or like maybe in a year, still it's time to plan because your money, your finances, your stability is so great right now. If you set yourself, if you set any goals, chances are with the world and the Eight of Pentacles, uh, the effort that you put forward will bring you results, okay? And again, like your health is something that the only thing I would really push forward because everything else is being, dis I feel that it's being done for you. You don't really have to... Even with the seven of pentacles, you don't you have to work in maintaining a balance, but it's no longer you trying to uh go there trying to you know please and make the family tight. It's like like you'll feel that other people will make effort and then some to get involved and engage with you or your family will do that for you. You'll have a lot of support, okay? So the hermit here is you know the star is always about like being the water barrier, bringing, you know, things to other people, water to other people. So it says in the middle, if you do have the opportunity with the hermit to give back, because the people that could come back, that could come towards you, may need something that you could offer, even if it's just temporary. And that, that is for their future. It could be a household. Maybe they need a room. Maybe they need food. Things related to cancer. Maybe they need a, uh, you know, a family. Maybe they need a, you know you know, some type of nourishment. So the hermit is here in the middle. It's asking you to remember that in the middle, meaning in the present, um, in the present uh, environment. And it's, it's a powerful 
uh, energy because it's really next to the lover. So it really uh, is, you know, this you attracting the people that need some some type of nourishment. But at the same time, you're getting something out of it. It makes you happy. You're gaining your um, you're feeling strong in your bond. You feel that your relationship with the people that matters around you are better and stronger than ever. And if it's not, they will become uh, in, in November uh, or December as well. Okay, I'm going to end this reading here for you, my cancers. Let me know how this resonated with you. Until next time, send me lots of kisses. I love you.